welcome back folks and in this video we're just gonna carry on and learn a couple more commands but before we get into a few more commands I'd like to show you uh, one thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that everything we do in Linux every command is actually a program so PWD for example which means present working directory is a program if you think about it if I type PWD enter and it shows me that I am currently in home diary folder it's doing a specific task it's doing something that I wanted to do so that means there has to be some logic that has been written in this command to know that, that that's exactly what I wanted to do or if I did ls how come ls command knows that it needs to show me folders and files in my current working directory why couldn't the ls have done what the pwd did you can see the differences there so what that means is this command is actually a program written for this specific purpose and how do we know where this command is on the file system well there's another command which you can use called which I'm just gonna type it here so we keep a record of all the commands we've been learning so if I type which LS it basically shows me where on the file system LS command is stored and we're gonna go into the details of what this USR main being and all that the whole file system structure but the focus right now is to know the different commands what they do and how we can make use of them if I want to know where the PWD command is I can also do which PWD and it tells me it's also in USR being PWD right so we've just learned about the which command now another thing you would want to know is how to get more information about a specific command that you're using say for example I want to know what which command does okay I don't know what it does I've heard diary says it does something but how do I know more or read more about it instead of going to Google well it turns out that on Linux there's a command that you can run well a couple of them uh, the first one info if you type info which it will come up with a bunch of text that basically uh, describes what that command does as you can see here it says which locate a command which is what we've just done to locate where that command is there's another one called man man meaning manual okay if you want to read the manual for something man which does the same thing well maybe not the same thing but similar thing because in some command you wouldn't see exact same documentation like this but in the case of which we've seen the same documentation that info gave us let's try that on an ls info ls okay so this is also giving us a couple of information about ls it says the ls program lists information about files of any type including directories so files directories it just gives us more information about them and to get out of the command all I've been pressing is the letter Q on the command on the keyboard so if you press Q it basically gets you out of it let's go into man ls and you can see the way it's written out is uh, slightly different so list directory content list information about the files the current directory by default blah 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 blah, blah. you know there's a lot more if you keep pressing L there's so many more uh, information about it and we will go into all these things uh, very soon so as you can see minus I minus I capital minus K you know we'll go into a couple of those very shortly so by typing Q it takes me out of that all right so let's type in the command that we've just learned info man oops man okay let's save this file and remember how to clear the screen Control L now we have a clear screen and remember how 
have we done cat yes we have done cat so let's read the content of our file now cat remember dev tab would complete the whole file name for us enter and that list out everything okay the next thing i want to show us is the cd command so let's let's take a note of that cd and what that means is change directory but before we do that let's create a directory so that's going to lead us to uh, another command which is mkdir because for us to change directory let's make a directory and navigate that let's see how that works mkdir dev ops underscore folder okay and how are we going to see the content of the folder we are to actually see whether it has created this folder or not can you make a guess good ls ls and now we have our devops folder right there okay so now let's try to create another folder inside the devops folder how do we do that mkdir space then type in dev tab okay and we have devops but devops is a file devops underscore folder is a folder is a directory so we need to complete the sentence uh, we need to complete the name of the folder if we do another tab it's not going to do anything because we basically have two items that have the same name and if I do tap tap it's now going to show me both so devops devops but then the other one has underscore folder to it so now that I have uh, the full names I just need to show I just need to type the first letter that differentiates both of them which is the underscore and if I do a tab again it will then complete the name of the folder for me and if I now type in the name of the folder that I want to create inside of that folder I can now then just name it so I would say uh, inside underscore folder and hit enter so what we have just done basically is let's go on the file system in the GUI as you can see we have the DevOps folder here if I go into that you can see we now have another folder in there which is inside folder you can see inside folder that's what we've done okay and inside inside folder there's nothing there let's try to create something else inside inside folder now what I'm gonna do is I would use my keyboard up arrow to bring back the last command so up arrow as you can see has brought back the last command and if I do a forward slash and then give it a name uh, let's say second inside folder second inside folder okay and hit enter you can see that it has now created another folder inside the first folder so we're basically going from one folder to another let's go to home so this is home okay this is home and we are also in home if I go to PWD on the terminal as you can see home diary so this is the home for diary and inside home for diary we have desktop documents and all that let's let's check that out on the terminal ls we have desktop devops folder downloads as you can see desktop devops folder documents download okay now let's go inside devops folder so on the gui i'm going to go inside devops folder okay on the terminal i'm also going to go inside devops folder and how to do that i would have to use the cd command cd space dev tab see 
cd devops folder now if you notice previously when we did devops it didn't bring out all the folder for us because there are two things with the name devops okay but in this case it brought out everything because it understand that cd is changing directory and devops is not a directory it's a file so it's very intelligent to know that we're trying to change directory even though they both have devops devops in this case it's just gonna default to the only one that is folder and it will the tab will complete everything for us if we had another folder with devops we would have had the same uh, experience we had previously okay so that was by the way just wanted to spot that out for you so we're going into devops folder and hit enter as you can see we're now inside the devops folder remember this tilde uh, sign there that we talked about previously which is the uh, represents the home folder for the user so home for the user user is dare and this is home okay so this is home for dare home for dare is home that is forward slash home forward slash dare okay remember home for dare is home dare if it was another user called maybe let's say peter it would have been home forward slash pizza okay now this devops folder is inside the home for diary and that's what we have if we do pwd you can see we are now in home diary devops folder which is exactly where we are on the gui as well if we try to list what is inside the devops folder and we can do that with the ls command you can see the folder we have there is inside folder see inside folder and if we want to go inside the inside folder we will do cd again so cd space i n i can just do tab and that completes it or even if i just did i it still completes everything all right so cd inside folder enter and inside that let's go there we have second inside folder and if I type in ls to see what is inside the inside folder, we will see the second inside folder, which is exactly what is going on here. So basically everything you can do on the GUI, you can do on the terminal. That's what we're trying to do here. And if we go inside the, uh, let's say we don't even know, let's assume we don't know the name of the folder and I don't type anything. I just do tab. That's the only uh, resource inside that folder. It just brings it out for me. So enter and ls do we have anything no and if we go in here do we have anything no empty as you can see pwd will show us how we have navigated from home of diary to devops folder to inside folder to second inside folder and that's how you basically navigate and if we wanted to go back to home all we have to do is do cd enter okay it just takes us all the way back to home if we do the pwd you can see we are now back into home diary now i'm gonna add one more tip and don't get confused by this if i wanted to go back to this there are two options i have i can either copy the whole folder like that highlight copy and then do cd and paste and hit enter it takes me all the way into that folder okay and i want to go back to home now the second option is to use uh, the dash or minus uh, symbol so if i do cd space dash now this dash is basically going to go back to the very last folder that I was in if I hit enter it takes me to that folder which was the very last one that I was in okay so let's add one more to this so we have done the CD and we 
we learned about the CD and the hyphen command and let's save our file and let's clear the screen go back home clear the screen one more time and let's do a cat on our file to see the latest commands that we have been learning good so in the next couple of videos we would see a, a few more tricks on how to work around the Linux file system. I hope this has been very informative for you and if you really like this content please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that every time there's a new DevOps related content you're the first person to get notified. See you in the next video.